Rebellion. Does it get any more cozy than... Glad you came. Thank you. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. I did thank you. We had a good conversation. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for detail, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I... of course. You're... I do. I thought you might be just the person to do... I've actually met Mrs. Sprottle. I recently spoke... She's lovely. Her late husband... I've seen her a few times since Aiden passed. I wonder if you might pop in and see... And you could retrieve... I'll try to go. It would mean the world. Aiden was bringing the... You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Upper Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Spotter? What do we have here? A demigod. Revelio. Mine now, Demi guys. Revelio. Come now, don't be stingy. Hello, Hamora. Young today aren't willing to put in the work to learn magic. Too busy with knitting Wisbees, if you ask me. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. Thank I do appreciate what you've made up a hog's field safer. And for that, I thank you. you've done on behalf of the Alpha Hogsfield residents. I thank you. Oh, my sincerest gratitude, you brave soul. Thank you for passing through. Nice to see you again, Mrs. Prottle. Actually... Oh, dear Serona. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients. And she's correct. My darling Aiden, you... I'm sorry for your loss, Miss... Oh, thank you. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clumps for me. Believe it or not, I have some with... Oh, thank you. How wonderful. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of... Indeed he was. He was hoping to go through it with Serona. Aiden took ill when he was collect... The cavern is... Thank you, Mrs. Bro Thank you. Hope they know what... This must be the cavern, Mrs. Bottle. Incendio. I need the hawk lumps to Mrs. Sprottle, but I still need to visit the cave to find Serona's box of letters. Better have a look around. See if I can find that box of letters. That's all the whole clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. Either I'll have to fight that troll.
Revelio. Must be Serona's box of letters. I should take this box of letters to Serona. I think that's everything. Serona would be glad to have this back. Revelio. Revelio. I might have gone more to plan if you... You go. Sometimes it seems all roads leak. <laughs> Hello, Sorona. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Spro. Oh, thank. 
I wondered about some of the letters. Of course. It appears... One of the letters mentions... I did. I was the Ravenclaw Seeker for three years. Oh, <laughs> Merlin's beard. I... Nothing like the feeling of catching... I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I missed cheering for Ravenclaw. We... I saw a letter from someone... It is. Still one of my dearest friends. Especially when it comes to... To borrow a phrase from... I spotted a letter. <laughs> we do. <laughs> I shall be the first to admit that... And not everyone was as... <sighs> well... I'm glad I could be of help. Don't know what I'd have done without... And for returning this box of letters. to a flabbergasted leech stirred clockwise. <laughs> huh. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I receive... Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known... He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travel. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's lawyer, what with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved. Well, should I be worried about my uncle, or am I... I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all... I... Ugh. Could you try to find out? Has your uncle tried... Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. But he only recently mentioned... He does it for me. He's sacrificed... I take it you... We are. My mother died when I was... He knows I get anxious. I'll try and look into it. Thank you. In fact, in his last hour, I do hope you're able to... Oh, Uncle Roland, what have you got yourself... Adelaide's uncle Roland is all right. She seems very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockborough, past the river. Could this be Mr. Oakes's campsite? And what's that? Should I take them by force or be discreet? What have we here? Another human? Oh, there's a hole in my pocket. Revenue! Thank you. 
Now to find out what happened here. Mr. Oaks's trade journal. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Revelio. A rock formation? That's the first landmark on this map. Now to find the crooked tree. Revelio. Crooked tree, just as the map said. The crumbling tower shouldn't be far from here. Defender, confront them. Revelio. tower. The spot on the map should be directly south of here. What do we have here? Protego! Could do with a nice mushroom stew about now. Ladder. That's what I need. Petrificus uh. yeah. Totalis. Who's that? Not quiet enough. Confringo. Uh.
patrolling this area is a waste of my time. What's that? Who's there? This is the spot on the map. I'd best have my wits about me. Atrancus Titanus. Hello? Someone... What? This is almost too easy! It's punishment to us all to have that Mephania. human around. Oh. What was that? Is somebody there? Hello? Such as it is. Good for you. Oh. Things were spot on. Revelio. Aloha Mora. Rebellion. Leviosa. Revelio. Rebellion. 
Revelio. Mr. Oaks? Yes, I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiling door. I've heard them speak of it. I need to find Mr. Oaks' wand. Where can it be? only have Ranrock to blame. Off of 
my defender. Not quite. This must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Rebellion. You did it! I found my wand and... Wait, you're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oakes. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. They overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against Wizardkind. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted the wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing him. A sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ran... Ever since, Ramrock has despised wizard kind. Am I right that you speak gobbledy? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I... It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient, at least. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Uh oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my... Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. And having my wand back is like being reunited with an old... F I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. Thank you. May Mr. Oakes was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him. <laughs>
Deke. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. Uh, Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. <laughs> Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class. That I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Dee can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Dee when you're ready to go. Rebellion. 